Um, I've got a, a particular message for you today. Uh, it is, it's a good message and it's an important message. And, and hopefully it's a fun message in a way. Um, our young people today are growing up in a in very dangerous world. And, you know, a, a, lot of, a lot of horrible possibilities exist today. Most of you guys know that I supervise and run treatment programs for young drug addicts and alcoholics, I think. And, and by the way, you're, you're all invited to visit uh, to see something really, really great, really special anytime you like. You, most of you can find me on the website or ask your friends or something. And, and we'll arrange for you to visit. So, so what's the deal? What's happening? Um, I'm thinking about, about what happened in America quite a few years ago, but it's like, I'm thinking about, it's probably better to tell you what's happening now, here. Yeah. Do you know why today is so dangerous for our kids? What, what do you think? Why is it so dangerous? Well, more dangerous maybe than any recent time. What do you think? Come on. There is a lot of easy access, fun experience, fun. Okay. A lot of free time. A lot of free time. Okay, a lot of free time or unsupervised free time. A lot of access to the kind of fun that might not be healthy fun. Internet. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it, it, there are lots of different opportunities on the internet. You can even watch TED on the internet, right? What? Oh, that's a clock. Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I see it. Oh, the, the, the thing, the clicker, yeah? It's okay. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of slides. Um, that are... Here's what's the difference. Um, in, it used to be an education would kind of give you a key to a future. Right? You get your degree, you get your education, and you get a job, and, and you live, and you have your life. That's no longer true, right? You got people with doctor's degrees selling cigarettes in the street. Okay. You're probably making a lot of money doing it, but um, what else? So, so the, the key to the future is no longer the key to the future. Plus, life is changing so fast now that we really don't know what the world's going to look like in 10 years. Right? Okay. Uh, we, we are now in, in developing and evolving faster than we ever have in human history. More, more human evolution has taken place in the last hundred years than, 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 than took place in the preceding thousand. And in the last ten years, more than the preceding hundred. We're accelerating fast. So, so we have no idea what's going to be. Um, and people are having to chase jobs. You know what I mean by that? See, families used to live together in the same community for 100 years. So, so who raised kids? Parents? Who else? Grandparents. Grandparents, what? Uncles, aunts, cousins, sisters, brothers, right? Neighbors, right? 
Yeah? Okay. The, that, that system has basically fallen apart. Or, or it's falling apart every day. We're having more and more families living in different cities now. Or different regions. More and more husbands and wives are working now. Right? Because, because you need two incomes to support a family. So, so, so the kids have a lot of free time. They have very little supervision. Except, of course, by the internet. And, and you know MTV teaches really good things to kids. Right? Life principles, hobbies. Right? You learn great principles on MTV. Be the sexiest, be the toughest, be the meanest. Curse more than anybody else. Wear a lot of gold around your neck. Wear a lot of gold around your neck. You know, get as naked as you possibly can if you're women. And you'll be successful. Just go out in the world and be successful. Mm -hmm. This is great for our kids to learn. One, one of the things, because I'm from America, that's always interesting to me is, is the, the, the bandanas that kids wear on their head. Right? Blue and red. You know what you have to do to get one of those on your head in Chicago? Because you can't, you can't wear one unless you earn it. You have to murder somebody you don't know in cold blood. You have to murder somebody you don't know. Kill somebody you don't know. And then that's the way you earn your bandana. And I see our kids, our kids, wearing bandanas. And then I just get cold. Because I, because I know what the symbol means. And I know where that symbol comes from. You know, and most of our kids, of course, they don't know that. But, but they copy the symbol anyway. And, and they're going to learn what that means. And, and, and scary, some of them continue to wear it after they know what it means. So, so, so what are we going to do? What, what do we do now? America allowed 60% of their young people's lives to be destroyed for 25 years. Nobody knows that. Nobody knows that. That was the catastrophe that happened in America that they don't talk about. From 1962 to 1985. It was common for cities to lose 60% of their children. No, no. You understand what I mean? If you look at the person beside you right now, and, and you know that either you or them is going to lose your kid, their life is going to be destroyed. You or them. So if you, if you, you understand? Okay, because that's what's coming here. And it's, it's already happening. But it's right now it's only about 10 or 15 to 20 percent. So, so it's just beginning. And, and I'm in an uncomfortable position of having seen it before. It is difficult for most programs to accomplish 1% success. It's too late. But, but, but we're doing, I'm, I'm, to me, I'm sad. People tell me that, that I run the best programs there are. And I want to cry. Because I want to say, wait, do you understand the, the best program there is fails half the time. Fails half the time. And that's the best there is? For God's sake, what are we doing? 
So treatment is not the answer. Prevention is. Now, you know what? Prevention is easy. Prevention is fun. We used to do it pretty good. Years ago. And we forgot them. We've abandoned our kids. Honestly, we have abandoned them. We've tossed them into the world with very little support. Do you know what we do? We close schools in the evening. Nuts! Okay. Great cities who care about their kids keep their schools open in the evenings so the kids can come there and play basketball, build something, learn something. Okay. No, no, we have these absolutely incredible facilities for learning, for development, for art, for Aikido, for basketball, for swimming, for poetry, for pottery. And what do we do in the evening when they're most needed? Boom, close them. Lock the door. No, I'm sorry, we have this great facility, but you can't use it. Because no adults are willing to come here and supervise. We don't have the money. And it's illegal to let kids into the building unless we have a certified you know, counselor. Activities. Okay. Supervision. People to look up to. If бабушка is not available, then what about you? You know something that kids would like to learn. But, but you're not there. You're not at the school. You're not at the teen center. Teen center. Okay. You're not fulfilling your responsibility as an adult. Parents don't raise kids. Communities raise kids. Traditionally, forever. Not just immediate family. Neighbors. Uh, friends. Um, uh, business people. Um, relatives. They, they all join. A, a community raises kids. Our communities are doing what? Good luck. We don't have the time, we don't have the money. Businesses. Businesses must take responsibility for the communities in which they exist. There is a powerful, powerful force available right here, right now. Parents actually care about their kids. You want to see how strong a woman is? Friend a woman's child. In front of the woman. And, and you will find out how strong a woman is. She will break every bone in your body to protect that kid. You know. Guys, you ever want to get a severe beating? Just threaten a woman's child in front of her. And hang on to your body parts because she's tearing them off. Women, you know what I mean. Parents have a vested interest in the survival and the thriving of their kids. But they don't know what to do. We haven't educated them, we haven't organized them, we haven't given them a way to go to the school. Okay. So, what do we do? Simple. Love kids. Love kids. Find a kid that you can really enjoy, that can learn from you. Spend one evening a week. 
вечер. Один вечер. Один вечер. Один вечер. Проведите с ребенком. Let him know that you care. Дайте ему почувствовать, Let что он не все равно. Дайте ощутить, что вы его любите. Show him what it means to be proud, to be happy. Покажите, что значит чувствовать себя life. гордым, счастливым, уверенным, уважающим себя. If a kid has a passion, если у ребенка есть that they love, then see free criminal activities, drugs, are relevant to that kid. If they got something that they care about. Kids are maniacs. Kids are maniacs for something they care about. If they don't have something they care about. If they got too much free time. If they have money to take care of themselves, and you're not there, they will slowly but surely destroy their lives. I buried a lot of your kids, guys. I've been here 20 years. I'm tired of burying your children. And I'm tired of fighting against the people who are destroying your kids. When the answer is simple, get involved. One evening a week, love a kid. If the kid knows you care, maybe it's your little brother, maybe it's your little sister, maybe it's a neighbor kid, and they know you care, then they have a much better chance at a positive and successful the, the tragedy is just beginning. We must stop this tragedy now. It's going to get three to four times worse, worse during the next ten years. But you and I we can stop it. How? How? Love the kid. And kid friends of yours that aren't here right now, love the kid. Get in the kid's life. If they have you to look up to, then the gangbanger on MTV is no longer interesting. Because they have something better. They have you. It's a pleasure to be with you.